Thank you, Divine. Let's get into these messages. Thank you guys for your likes, your shares, your comments. Already, right? Because I'm very grateful for who are already in this room, right? Um, I am Prophecies. I am Prophecy, I'm sorry. This is Prophecies Corner. Here on this particular channel, we focus on spiritual intelligence, um, wisdom, truth, understanding, coaching, um, through trauma therapy, through Reiki, through transformational um, guidance, um, through music channeling, and you know, just finding ways to bring a calmness, a oneness, a wellness to oneself. I do use spiritual intelligence far as when it comes up to tarot card readings, protecting your energies from um, vamp vampiric energies, um, individuals that's trying to work against your energy. I provide a way for you to, um, to be able to increase your income. I provide um, ways for you to, um, how you can learn how to become a initiate, how you can evolve and learn esoteric teachings, um, how you can learn how to evolve or boost up your life expect expectancy through health coaching. Um, if you need help with your business, we have techniques to help you push your business to the next level with our business coaching. Um, we have a plateau a pantheon of many entities that is coagulated, that has joined, um, that has programmed Creative Illuminations to bring all of these beautiful tools of education together. Thanks to my ancestors, most of all, first of all, let's thank God. Let's thank um, the Divine Father. Let's thank the Divine Son, our Divine Mother. Let's thank our ancestors. Let's thank um, the other pantheons, um, the other deities, the other aliens, esoteric, um, extraterrestrial beings that has uh, helped, I could say me, transpired, transpired, yeah, they helped me transpire, all right, <laughs> expire and transform into what we call now, you know, transformational therapy. So I just like to, first of all, give honor, give thanks, be grateful for your spiritual team before we can even get started. Um, these are words of wisdom, of messages. These are what I call daily messages. I will get in some tarot card readings, guys, but I feel like that we need to tap more into really our soul urge, that purpose, that, that meaning of life, right? So that, that nirvana, that um, pursuit of happiness is what I'm getting at. So we're going to talk about that, right, this morning. We're going to get in some tarot cards, right? That's good. We do that every day. But let's talk about how we can feed the soul. Yeah, because you can't, you can't eat from everybody, but make sure the food that you are eating, that you can digest, that you can, that it, that, that it is fulfilling you, that you can reap some type of, um, uh, uh, feeling, uh, of, completion, right? Of completion. And this is what I want you guys to have. I don't want you to be left lingered or left astray. So with that being said and done, let's tap into today's daily message. This is part of my nine point program for individuals who have been physically abused, mentally abused, spiritually abused, for individuals who have um, experienced or went through sexual um, human trafficking, for individuals who have been in war, for individuals who have PTSD, PSD, for individuals who are homeless, for individuals who may always have been kicked out on the curb for the hard knocks of life, for the individuals that has been left as the underdog. These messages are not only for them, they're for everybody, but that's my target audience, if that make any sense. I'm not, a lot of you guys may not be in that particular um, status in life, but there's the underdogs, the prostitutions, um, the drug dealers, um, the homeless person, the woman who's working nine to five that can't find a way to pay their bills on time because they always living 
paycheck after paycheck trying to make a way with getting paid minimum wages. I'm talking to them because they need this service more than anybody else do. So I'm out here to reach out to individuals who really need the coaching, the counseling, the help. Even if you're not poor and if you can still and if you still want to grow spiritually or if you want to rearrange how you see things, perceive things and how you move in life. To, be, to bring a better outcome, to bring abundance, to bring uh, God's favor to you, then listen up. This is the nine-step program. This is one of the steps. I did step one yesterday. This is step two. And if you guys are interested, please visit my website at creativeilluminations.net, creativeilluminations.net, or you can reach me at 980-285-4340, 980 -285 Two eight five four three four zero. I am taking appointments on all spiritual intelligence readings, classes. I do offer tarot card classes as well, astrological birth chart classes as well, esoteric uh, classes as well. Like I said, um, this is a multi conglomerate organization, a entity that is here to guide you with you in mind. All right. So. Today message is for one of the nine steps is finding you again. And this step was pretty much inspired by Kevin Gates. Again, guys, thank you guys for your likes, your shares, and your comments. And thank you for staying around. Um, I really do appreciate you guys. All right. And it says, let's go. Mm. First of all, before we get started, let me pay Los Santo is what I just heard. So let me clear the energy. Hey, good morning, guys. Smile. That's my name, Smiley. Look, look, Smiley. My name's Smiley, too. <laughs> I got that done when I was, um, it was with a needle in, uh, um, a threading needle and some Indian ink. I was like 14 years old. I was a motherfucking fool. <laughs> Oh, like 14 years old, and you know I ain't no business getting no tattoos. So I done skipped school with one of my motherfucking one of my, my, my entourage of female friends, and we done posted up doing goddamn nappy ho nappy head hoe shit, right? <laughs> and ass got motherfucking got them doing shit we had no business doing, and got then I got that tattoo. <laughs> like I said, I haven't always been in my divine energy. I've always been divine, but I but I have not always been in my divine energy, if that makes sense. Who can agree? Say, hey, hey. You know you've always been divine, but or you you may have not known, but you have you was not in your divine energy. You had to wake up and go through a catalytic change. If you haven't done that yet, then maybe this is your time, right? Yeah, we all done did some nappy hole head and shit. That's how we learn and grow, and that's how we become in our divine power, because it's called duality, right? We have to balance out those emotions. All right. So let's get into these messages. Good morning. Uh, hey, team things. Hey, hey, good morning. Let me see who all up in here. Hey, Tawana. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Madison. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Kathleen. Hey, Lil Raven. Hey, No Faults. Hey, Smiley. Hey, Anthony. Hey, Chief Forza. Hey, Sinon. Hey, Brittany. Hey, uh, CD. Hey, Sydney. Hey, Waco girl, gal. Hey, SLE Wiz. Hey, Lily. Hey, Quee Quee. Hey, Sabrina. Hey, Spiritual Gangster. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, Sharissa. Hey, Frank. Hey, David. Hey, Ron. Hey, Mel. Hey, Chris. Hey, T. Quiz. Hey, Rhonda. Hey, Stacy. And for the rest of you guys, I'm not going to read all y'all names, but y'all know who y'all are. Hey, y'all. I appreciate you guys. So let's get into the message. And yeah, I ain't got time for this. The Lord ain't even fucking working. Anyway, it says, um, what I wrote this morning for you guys is, do you know how beautiful and how handsome you are? Do you know that the Most High has intricately put you together for a specific purpose of a specific plan? Do you know what that plan is, right? Let's get into it. Do you know how beautiful and handsome you are? Do you know that each and every one of you are a special surprise of the light? Do you, and do you understand that your light is the soul that sings to the universe? Beautiful praises of giving thanks to God as we continue 
to walk in God's footsteps. I'll find you again. Inspired by Kevin Gates once again. You will find yourself again. God never forgets you, but has been waiting for you to show up for yourself. Finding you again is all about really getting to know yourself on an intimate level, discovering your inner soul beauty by taking the time to go within through meditation, learning your attitude, your feelings, your emotions, your thoughts, your ways of speech, fine tuning yourself to be the best version of yourself. It all starts with the man in the mirror. Once you see, you can't unsee. And you, my friend, will see things clearly. Be the reflection. This is the message for you today, guys. Part of my nine-step program is what I do is I put the mirror in front of you. And I want you to tell me what you see about yourself, how you feel about yourself, what the emotions that you're going through. How do you view yourself? I want you to be real. I want you to be authentic. I want you to rip that mask off and be finally true to yourself, true to your emotions, because your feelings are valid, my love. The thing is, are you ready to take accountability? So this is part of your part of my coaching therapy services for individuals who have been abused, whether this is, like I said, religiously, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, used as human toilets, human trafficking. We're here to guide you, assist you, give you hope, reestablishing for the homeless, for the poor, for the disenfranchised. We're here to guide you. 177 on the clock. Thank you guys again for uh, listening. I will come back with more of our nine step program through the week. These will be our daily messages and I'm here to help guide you. Hopefully these messages will help you through your life's journey, through your life uh, events and circumstances today. Namaste, Ashe, amen. And as we continue to the tarot card readings, let's continue. All right. Thank you, Divine. Some of you guys could be Cherokee. That's why I keep saying Kevin Gates' name, Cherokee, Blackfoot, whatever the case may be, Sooks, I don't know, but you may want to look up that Cherokee song. Oh, let me get the device. So the channel song I have for you guys today is um, H-Town, Emotions Make You Cry Sometime. And it's kind of funny, like when I was coming on live... The video popped up of uh, Dino. So Dino was with us today. I already know. You know, y'all remember? Y'all know who Dino is? H Town is? Y'all know who the group H Town is? Well, if you don't know, I'm finna play some music and I'm finna remind I'm finna remind you of your, I'm finna remind you of who H Town is. Some good R and B. Let me remind you of some good R and B real quick. Maybe you'll remember. Let me cut this on. Do y'all, while we cut this on, do y'all remember who H-Town is? Emotions make you cry sometimes, but most of all, make you fall in love. Yeah. I bet y'all thought that song was talking about a fucking relationship. <laughs> We're going to put that song. I got messages from Dino. All things deal with emotions is come what this tarot card reading is all about. Hey, a chosen one. Hey, RSC and smile. Hey, so we're going to play to start off this particular uh, tarot card reading. I was told to play this channel song by H town messages from Dino. Um, emotions. Y'all remember that? So we're going to tap in. Who remember, man? See, look, my general, my my fit, my people was, look, back in the eighties and nineties, we had the best motherfucking music. I'm talking about, we had Wu Tang Clan, we had motherfucking KRS One, man, we had Outkast, we had Tupac and them, man. Like, I don't know, this music is all right, you know, because art is art. So I don't look down on nobody art, but it's just. Hip-hop was more fulfilling back in the day. Hip-hop was life. Hip-hop was, you know, telling the everyday struggle, everyday bugle, you know, everyday 
hustle and bustle, trying to make it through, trying to make a dollar out of 15 cent. It's hard to be legit. Yeah. No excuse for the... Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a damn about a neat growth. <laughs> I am hearing Tupac, Gemini energy. <laughs> I'd rather be broke than a... Mm, man. Yeah. Hold up. I wonder if heaven got a ghetto is what I'm hearing. A bottle of juice is no excuse. The truth hurts. Somebody may be a drinker. I got a channel song going on my head. Hold up. Yeah. Tupac. No excuse to chew first. Yeah. Looking for a purse to snatch. Nigga, think about a hero. No, mo nigga, mo nigga, mo niggas. I'd rather be dead than a pope, nigga. Let the Lord judge the criminals. And if I die, I'm ho I hope heaven got a ghetto. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so when your motherfucking ancestors thugs and shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A bottle of juice is no excuse to truth hurt. So somebody could be drinking their problems away. Yeah. <laughs> somebody need to put that bottle down, baby. You stop. Stop it. I got you. Let me fill you up with that knowledge, that tea, that divine way. Because you're more than just that bottle, baby. You don't need that bottle. You don't need them pills. You don't need that cocaina. Okay. You don't need that. that, that motel. I take that back. Shit. That's good for you. That's good. <laughs> I'll take that one back. <laughs> anyway, let me continue with the messages. <laughs> I can't say what I want to say because you know TikTok will block me. <laughs> so let's go to YouTube. And now I got the phone on. We're going to go to the song. I had to keep talking until we got here, guys. So now we're going to play um, H-Town. This is the channel message with the channel tarot card reading. Messages from Dino. Um, from H-Town, Dino passed away in a car accident um, back in the time. He was so motherfucking fine. Oh, my God. Y'all remember Dino? Who don't remember Dino? Let me find out. I ain't got no 80s babies in here. <laughs> or no 70s or 60 babies. Let me find out. Y'all young as fuck. <laughs> it's cool, though. I love y'all, too. You know, I don't got them discriminate on the age. We, that's one more thing. We don't discriminate on your age, your religion, your creed, okay? We don't we don't discriminate on your fucking sexual preference. I don't give a shit about that. We all about motherfucking providing freedom, right? <laughs> Follow the nine-step program. This is the nine-step plan here. We ain't got time for all that. We accept all that thee, just like Reiki. Oh, if you guys do need some Reiki services, because I do offer Reiki for healing your chakras, Okay, for healing your energy level as well. Like I said, I haven't mentioned everything that I have on Creative Illuminations website with our spiritual intelligence shop because it's a lot. It's over like 20 things, right? <laughs> it's a lot of breath. <laughs> okay, so if you guys are interested in any of our services, please go to the website, creativeilluminations.net. Check it out and learn more. And uh, contact me if you want to know how you can get free readings uh, and free member points. Okay, by participating. 80s here. Thank you, AC Chosen. Thank you, RSA, for um, answering. So with that being said and done, thank you guys with the likes and shares in the comments. So with that being said and done, let's go ahead and go to um, Emotions Make You Cry Sometime. Let's vibe out real quick. And while y'all vibe out, I'm going to step to the side and go talk to my spirit in them with this goddamn gar and shit. <laughs> And we're going to talk about this shit. There you go. Here go the official video. Oh, my God. We was the shit. Jodeci in them. We got the house. Brownstone in them. Before we get started, I do not own the rights of this music. I do not own the rights of this music. Channel message, H-Town. Sure. One of the members of the group, H-Town, has been injured in a serious accident. What? What do we do? Dino Brownstone. Dino Brownstone. Dino Brownstone. Oh, man, I'm about to cry. Attempting to assess his condition and determine, of course, an action. New up emotions. Yeah. 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 This was that shit. This when Dino passed away. Oh, man. 
Thank you. Who remembers this? So I'm going to wind this back. And I'm not going to play the whole song. But the, the gist of the reading is emotions is a way how we, we have a counteraction towards a particular stimuli, right? But emotions have been with us since the beginning of our birth. And we're going to tap in. Let's listen. Oh, man, this is so sad. All things deal with emotions. I'll get back to you. I'm going to let this play through. We're going to get started. Thank you, guys. Emotions make you glad sometimes. Emotions have been with us since the beginning of time, since the beginning of our civilization, since the beginning of our making. It's all about balancing the water, emotions. Emotions have nothing to do with falling in love. I mean, they do, but it had, it's more of a complicated situation. I cried and I take the first time I felt pride. Yeah. When I turn 10, I begin to like friend You're talking about yourself yeah all things do it with emotions from here until the end oh, oh, oh. emotions make you cry sometimes hey emotions make you act sad sometimes yes emotions make you laugh sometimes oh what makes you fall in love Yeah, yeah, we done now. Yeah, so yeah, so basically the emotions all start within you. The emotions before before anything can come and try to distract or try to interfere with anything with any type of inkling thing about you. It's all about your emotions, how you control your emotions. Now we have in our family, if you know, when we're younger, you know, if certain things have happened to us, then how can we control how our emotions are able to be, how can I, how can I put it to be, how can I put this to be balanced? Say for instance, if you come from a household and say for instance, you got molested, you got raped, right? Now think about how those emotions have played out from you because you, you have been traumatized. There we go. Thank you. So when your emotions have been traumatized, we make decisions that are not clear or not focused or not the best choices to make in life because we have been put in a situation to where our back is against the wall, to where our Freedom was taken away from us. Your freedom is your emotion. Some you was you was confined. You was stuck. You was lost because something came in and stole your emotion, stole your soul, stole your spirit. Does that make sense? I am I'm freestyling these messages, okay? And I hope from my life experience that you will gain some type of way how you can deal with whatever trauma that you have experienced. I feel like I'm talking to people who have been verbally abused, spiritually abused, sexually abused, whether this is through jobs or situations. I don't know what happened to you or at home. But the thing is, when our emotions have been tampered with, when our emotions have been um, fumbled with, when our emotions have when we have been, how can I put this? Because it's very complex. When we have the ability to understand how to take that ouch out of that trauma, 
then we can begin to heal our emotion. Does that make sense? Before I continue, does that make sense? All of the above. Thank you, RSN. Thank you. And I'm talking to masculine and feminine energies. I'm trying to find a way so you guys, so I can break it down to the best, the best way that I can so you can understand what emotions, how your decisions are based off your emotions. There we go. There we go. Thank you. And I ain't went to school for this shit. I ain't go to school for this shit. So please pardon my, my jargon. Okay. This is, this is life lessons. These are experiences. And what from, from what I have experienced from, from going through a traumatic situation, uh, being shunned, being, uh, thrown under the bus. These are all emotions that's been projected onto you. That then we go into projected projection of energies, right? And these people don't know what they're doing, but they're projecting onto you. They projected rape onto you. They projected that you was going, you're going to be poor. They projected all these things. They took their negative emotions and they fed it into that baby. They fed it into that teenager. They fed it into that, 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 that preteen, right? And now this baby, this preteen, you know, these young adults carrying on, you know, the baggage of what their family said that they was perceived to be. And this is where it, certain choices are being made neglectfully because they was neglected from their own family. You guys come from a neglected families. They never showed you no love. That's why you get clemency from God. That's why you get mercy from God. Okay? And majority of you guys are part of the chosen ones. We go through the fucking most. We go through hell and back. Because you're very emotional. Maybe you're a very loving person. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get off on that. But like I said, guys, if you are interested in, in our, any of our coaching services, they told me to stop. Let me stop. So, ugh, excuse me. Yep, that was completion. So like I said, guys, some of you guys have went through a lot of tumultuous times. And we're here to guide you and assist you. Um, your feelings are valid. That's all I got to say. I don't care what happened to you, whether you're masculine or feminine or a child or a teenager. Your feelings are valid. Something happened to you. Something happened to all of us. <laughs> Just some of us are bold enough to speak about it and is really to and is willing to help heal other people. I made this program. I shaped this program and with you in mind, with me in mind, with making sure anyone wouldn't go through what I ever went through in life. To be, to have to be a guidance, to provide a guidebook. So you don't have to do the drugs or keep being in uh, unrequited relationships, selling yourself out, not putting yourself first, you know, working, uh, being a slave on your knees, not starting a business, being a slave to your own reality, right? Who the fuck want to live like that for the rest of their life? When you can use your spiritual gifts and abilities and you can manifest new beginnings and start your new world if you choose to. If you choose to end out situations and you choose to be the son that you're meant to be and, and, and expose these secrets about these, these fake ass Aquarius, I'm picking up energies. Yeah, the tower moment will be brought to these evil motherfuckers because you're an earth angel and death is here. For anybody who sacrifices any chosen one, justice will be served here. Your divine purpose will be illuminated. Leo, have peace. Yeah. God is here, chariot, the lovers, Hierophant, emperor, empress. Let's go. All right, so let's get into these messages. Messages from Dino. Messages, any other ones? Okay. Messages from Dino, emotions will make you... Damn, I walked in at the right time. Yeah, you did, Nix. <laughs> I just finished up to 11. We could be talking about a new beginning, a twin flame, a soulmate. I don't fucking like know shit. Yeah. Let me shuffle up these cards real good, y'all. Yeah, so yeah. Emotions that make you have a heartbreak, too. Yeah. <laughs> Stop laughing, Rena, because I feel like somebody going through a heartbreak. You could have... I feel like you had a... Okay, so let me stop laughing, because divine feminine, divine masculine, this may be you. I can't laugh at y'all. So I'm picking up, um, just looking at this card here, like three of swords energy. I feel like that 
you could have three people that broke your heart, that pained you, like you really love these people. You was really um, into these people. You was really um, engulfed it, um, in, 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 in being loyal to these individuals and these three energies, these air sign energies. It could be three air signs. Somebody could have air sign in their birth chart uh, placement here. But I feel like these three of swords energies here, they all um, betrayed you. They was very cruel to you. They uh, did not give you any um, justice here. They left you in mental anguish here. They caused a lot of pain and um a lot of distress here so you went through some some of you guys may have been um may have been abused by lovers here is what i'm picking up um these lovers could have a uh, bad mouthed you bad talked you um these these lovers was never gonna um show you any type of love or any type of um a compassion here uh uh they yeah I'm with the clouds and with the rain here, but I'm looking at you, 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 uh, you cried, uh, over these lovers here. You, um, yeah, you went through a lot of changes. They, they really put a, they really put a, a hurting on you. You know, something happened. This is giving me something about your virginity. Or a past, three of swords, three men from your past, or something like that. Yeah, three. Clarify this three of swords. Because this is giving me busting the cherry. Okay, so I just look at things different, okay, guys? So this is busting the cherry. Y'all know about busting the cherry, okay? You could have got gang raped. Three of swords. Did you lose your virginity to three men? Hey, I don't expect you to motherfucking answer. I'm just saying, though. Something happened to you real bad. Three men bust your cherry. Huh? You was held down and raped. You was... Oh, man, that's fucked up. They could have been laying, as they was raping you, they was hurt, saying hurtful things to you. Oh, man, this is fucked up. Somebody, somebody was held down and raped here. Somebody was gang raped here. When they was a virgin. You was crying, baby. The universe was crying. This is wow. Wow. You're a cold. If you're a cold hearted. Because these men did, did this to you. You was taken advantage of. I'm hearing same sex. Somebody could be a... The reason that they like women is because they was raped by these three men. This is getting deep. All right. Anyway, let's continue. Yeah. Luck always changes. Will of fortune. It was like you had a life that was... Not lucky... And parvish with the will of fortune in the reverse. I'm really talking to somebody who really went through a lot. This person was held down by three men and was raped by three men. This person felt like their life wasn't they wasn't lucky. They never got new chances. Something always is a problem. Nothing never changes. Never receiving some type of justice. Feeling like everything is going against them. People go against them. Situations go against them. Job opportunities. They don't get. They don't receive. Somebody feel like they, they, they are worthless. They don't need to be here. They don't want to stay here. After being raped and, and humiliated. Tortured. Somebody has suffered tremendously here. And this is why I'm on this channel to help you. Baby, reach out to me. I love you. I'm sorry you had to go through this. I went through a similar situation. 
I love you. Reach out to me at 980-285-4340. 980-285-4340. Let's go to the next messages. You could have went to turn to prostitution. You possibly went to after all that that was done, you couldn't you couldn't find a job. No money. No income. You was on the streets. You was homeless. The only thing that was resulted was for you to sell your body. Three of Wands. And you find you found out that's what made progress for you. Damn. New job. You could have been homeless. You could have been at a dead end ass end job. Somebody could have came to you or you found some type of way to bring more money in. Okay, RS. Clarify Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. You was part of some type of um, human trafficking, sex trafficking um, group setting. Your homeboys and your homegirls, y'all get up, y'all drink, y'all smoke. You could have been a pimp. This could have been a pimp or you could have, maybe you could have provided or somebody provided something in that family. It's, this Ace of Pentacles could be either, you could have been living in the style and you could have presented women or men. You could have been a mistress or a madam as well. Or you may have had friends and you was offering them the, to other people. I don't know. Let's see. Emotions. Ten of Wands. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. With the emotions. Yeah, hold on. Financial stability. was paid to rape you? Hold on, y'all. Let me read this. Was paid. So these three men raped you. You felt like you had an unhappy time. You was given. Because you didn't have anything. You was poor. So you end up going into prostitution. The government ain't shit. That's what that is. The government ain't shit. With the four of pentacles. Money is held back from you. Was from the system. You had to make your way. That's why That's why we're here to bring. To expose the government as well. With the four of pentacles. A new opportunity was presented to you. And you, and you figured that way was making progress, you was able to have money or make money, or you was able to feed yourself because you wasn't able to feed yourself. I feel like the same person as Ace of Pentacles is the Ace of Pentacles and with the Four of Pentacles is the government, but they're only giving you a little bit. Only a only a ration like welfare cheese and shit. They got a they got a, they got weapons to feed the, they got nepos, weapons for war but can't feed the poor. Is what I'm picking up. Some of you guys came from a very poverty uh, lifestyle. You dealing with the government holding back from you, not giving to you. Not you can't keep a job or you make a minimum wage, you can't find work. You been raped, sodomized, victimized. There was an opportunity that was presented to you, and when it did, you went for it. It made you progress. These are lovers. This could be a lover here. Oh, this is fucking Damien. Hey, Damien. I know who's I know who's here. Milestone. You may have had a relationship with somebody. You guys could be was maybe doing a lot of celebration. You was in a lot of fiery relationships. A lot of passionate sexual relationships. You could have been in four relationships. I feel like the three of swords. Who have, the, I feel like this fourth person. Maybe you feel, you reached the milestone. You felt like that. You found the one. The one found you. 
I feel like three swords broke, three air signs broke your heart, but a fire sign energy may have tried to come in. I don't know. Let's see. Four of Wands. Clarify this Four of Wands with these emotions. Emotions. Four of Wands. Yeah. Eight of Swords energy. Really, yeah. This person, Eight of Swords released. You felt released. So this fire sign energy was somebody who was meant for you to be with. Clarify. So you went through three, three of swords energy. I feel like you was with, clarify the ten of cups energy. Yeah. Yeah. You was with the fucking goddamn, you was with them. I growed up around dope niggas, drug dealers. Uh, uh, uh. I ain't like average Joe nigga. Yeah. That Lil Wayne song. I growed up around. Yeah. Uh, I can, I can, I can. Yeah. So if I'm if I'm selling what you if you buying what I'm selling so you a customer yeah so I growed up around up uh, now uh, 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 yeah that's my shit right there yeah I did too I understand that message very uh clearly like I said this ain't anybody message but this somebody message so ten of cups energy so I feel like that shit these could be your homeboy like homeboy homegirl you know how we used to get up back in the day yo what's up five. What's up, six? You know what I'm saying? We getting up and we, hey man, I got old girl with me tonight. You know what I'm saying? Oh, where you got old girl with you tonight? I say, yeah, man, I got old girl with me tonight. Hey, what we gonna do? All right, man, let's got them. Let's let's wrap it up then. <laughs> I ain't gonna go into detail. The conversations go because ain't nothing, nothing, you know, good. <laughs> but this is like back in the day where we would call up. Hey, what's that song um, about uh, Biggie Smalls? Um, and Puff Daddy, what's that song? God, I can't think of the name right now. Um, <laughs> oh my God, what's the name of the song? Y'all are so dead. Why the fuck is y'all dead? <laughs> y'all not alive. I'm alive. Why am I the only one alive that's alive? <laughs> Let me stop being me. What is that song with fucking Biggie? I'm not finna pick it. I can't think of the words right now, but let me continue. <laughs> they are, Ashley. They dead as hell. <laughs> Zombies. Soulless souls. I'm working. Oh, thank you, Nix. <laughs> there go my people. There go my people. You and your crew. <laughs> yeah. You can meet me at the bar round two. <laughs> At the Meridian. <laughs> Y'all remember that song? Yeah. Biggie, give me one more chance. There we go. Somebody may want, want you to get him a one more chance. Somebody could be thick. Okay. Yeah. Meet me at my spot. Yeah. Some shit like that. That's the song I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go. <laughs> I feel like that Um, the fog has been lifted here about... The far as in when it comes to, because I'm making this a therapy reading, okay, guys? Take it as a resonate, okay? Yep. But I feel like that now you know how to control the emotions, how to control yourself, how to control the situation around you. Once you know that you can create your reality, then you can change it by changing your emotions and the choices that you pick. All right, I just helped you guys out. I helped myself out too, shit. So if you want to know, if you want to know how to control your emotions is by controlling your, controlling the, the decisions that you make. Controlling your decisions is by controlling your emotions. Let me reword that. Controlling your emotions is by controlling your decisions. How do we control our emotions? Is by having quiet time. Shh. Going within, meditate. I started off with five minutes a day, but I do 30, makes possibly more. Once you meditate, you are forced to do a self-reflection. Once you have that self-reflection, then you may cry, you may wail, you may wallow, but that's what you call a awakening. That is what you call the dark night of the soul. That is what you're going to go through when you have your first initiation, because now you are on this road of tests to see if you can pass the test of God, okay? Because we have done so much. <laughs> you could have caused a lot of people heartbreak. Right? 
from what you did in life, right? There could have been three lovers that loved you. You could have caused a lot of heartbreak. And that's why you going, that's why you have to go through this unlucky time here, right? You could have made a deal here with somebody here. On the on the flip note, y'all know I read both polarities. There's somebody else who 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 broke somebody hard here three times. And that's why you're going through an unlucky fucking goddamn time here. Yeah, something about uh you you left one situation to go to another situation because of money because you thought it was an opportunity so somebody can hold your ass down yeah but the fog has been lifted somebody only wanted money in your situation yeah there could be a moody ass person right now who cares i read both situations that was both pos positive and negative more so when i'm talking about emotional therapy when it comes to our feelings and our emotions we have to break it down to the what is the the exact cause and the exact reason why we are making the decisions that we're making that's because our emotions have been manipulated tampered with they have been um used and misused and we have to take the power back on controlling that emotion on honing in on that emotion on uh learning all over who we are because it was stolen from us. It's your emotions, is your identity. And they, this is what they do to try to steal your essence away from you. If they steal your emotions, they steal your water. They steal you because we are water. This, this is life. Life can't exist without water, period. AKA primordial waters. We come from water. We survive off of water more than food. And that's a fact, Jack. If your emotions is tampered with, fooled with, begouded, witched, whatever the case may be, th these people try to cover up, mask, and manipulate. Yeah, these people who have no emotions. Somebody could be feeling well with, overwhelmed with emotions. This is how they wanted you to feel. They wanted you to feel moody, be sensitive, be melodramatic, be over emotionally and, and move fast and quick. But you know, we can't move like that with water. Water got to, water got to, got to be steady. Got to, you know, that's water. Because if water, water get like that, right? You know, to tsunamis and hurricanes, if something it agitates water. You know, so if something agitates you, you can't let that shit get you out of your fucking character, my G. You can't let them win your emotions. Emotions is your soul, your spirit. Spirit. This is rebel music. What I speak is my soul. What I feel is my soul. What I see is my soul. No, don't let them steal your soul. Your soul is your water, your emotions. Never let them put you in this position again. You will never be in this position again. You know better. Con clarify. Let me get up out of here. I got to get ready for work. Yeah. You leaving it. Yeah, you left it all behind, baby. When it all falls down. Is what I'm hearing. When it all falls down. Yeah, you leaving people, places, things that have misguided you. Congratulations. This could be a masculine energy here. Or this could be a feminine energy. Take what resonate. We done. Oh, we got to give them more. Tarot. Okay. Yeah. You leaving it all behind. You had a king of cups. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Yeah. And there's a tarot moment that's going on with the relationship. The tarot moment hit the four of wands energy. So there's an eight of swords energy. You're being released from all of these. You're being released from all of these lovers here. Divine feminine or masculine. You could be earning power and celebrating. Let me see. You're about to receive business tools. Yeah, you had a lot of lovers here. Man, look, it is what it is. These lovers try to keep you bounded. Or these people try to keep you bounded because of your past. And God said, fuck you. My grandma Mildred here. Hey, Mildred uh, Jefferson. Who cares? I don't give a fuck if you had more than um. you may have had. I don't know, a hundred fucking lovers. I don't fucking care because if you in the goddamn, if you know, if you in the fucking business I was in, shit, it is what the fuck it is. And what? And I wish a motherfucker would say something. I got them. Yeah. 
It is what it is. Everybody got a motherfucking pass. And we ain't here to judge nobody fucking pass. Hmm. You better act like you recognize. But you finna get a tower moment. And you about to be released from your past actions. See, you was you was sent here to, to you was sent here to, 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 to prove an example or to be an example. Maybe that's your purpose. You had to go through all of this because this was part of your purpose. Getting with these with these human trafficking energies, with these drug dealers, street niggas. Yeah. With these pimp niggas. Let me stop before they block me. <laughs> I feel like there's there's some type of union going to come or you're going to have some type of celebration. You have been released. There's somebody who don't give a fuck about none of them lovers that you was with. Somebody still want to marry you. I feel like four of these lovers was trying to come against you. There could have been two that wanted to marry you or wanted to be with you. There was people that coming against you. Uh, anyway, there could be a tower moment. The individuals are about to receive a tower moment. Or you, this is going to be your tower moment to be released. Or oh, your tower moment is to be released from burdens. Your tower moment is to be is to be successful. Yeah. Your tower moment, yeah. Money flow, work hard. I feel like that you may be working here. You could be driving. Yeah, you're building a team. Money flow gonna be coming in. You have been, been putting in hard work. You're putting plans in motion. You're building. Yeah, team, take time off. Security, you may need to take the time off. You may be a security guard. Okay? I feel like you're going through emotional recovery here. And I feel like somebody who thought they was going to win something, whoever it is, they thought they was going to get win or they thought that the, 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 the prize was in the bag. They're not getting it. There's an air sign energy going through mental recovery. I feel like this person has been backstabbed so many times. I feel like this is you and your masculine energy. I feel like eight of swords is by the men and the um, ten of swords is by the motherfucking females. You see how you, you two guys are coming up as the Aquarius energy? I feel like he got married. He got his marriage got fucked up. The side chick fucked him up and other side chicks fucked him up too. I feel like you had masculine energies, divine feminine, um, that was trying to keep you stuck and keep you in a whorish energy here. Okay? It is what it is. You was fucking promiscuous as fuck out here and stop playing with it. I'm just here to give you. I was too. Shit. Now, we healing. 13, breaking down to four, there's stability here. Yeah, I am 13. I said that yesterday on the, on the live video. And what does 13, 13 break down to, uh, that, blah, blah, blah. What does 13 break down to four be? It means stability. You and this masculine has been abused by all lovers, by both sides. But now you have released and he has released. Congratulations, divine counterpart. Y'all are coming together. Four of wands energy. And this is a tire moment for your fucking enemies. Yeah, we on, we on, we on point here. Yeah. And something about you guys, money will, it's something about you will flow together, ebb and flow. Okay? You guys, something about ebb and flow is, is here. And somebody here uh, with this award energy, yeah, this person is not an ancient. Okay? Somebody was trying to come against ancients. You, 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 you got shit for brains, don't you? For real, for real. I, I swear. Is it clumped up or is it diarrhea? Like, which one is it? You see my ancestors up in here with your slow ass. Yeah, talking about you was going to bring judgment. Ain't no judgment over here, slow. On the Empress, how you going to do that? That's why you can't have no motherfucking kids. And that's why your ass been dethroned. Over here wearing the mask and shit. Acting like you got some motherfucking money with your broke ass. It's blocked. Yeah, Leo energy in the reverse. Call your ass out with your stagnant ass. You can't. Your hair won't grow. Your money won't grow. Your business won't grow. And your kids sure enough won't grow. Because we got them, got them too. And we have no judgment over here. Yeah. What Tupac said, we get the kids too. Yeah, they over here fighting. Having confirma confirmations. <laughs> they over here fighting and shit. Somebody fighting two fire signs. Fighting and shit. And we over here balancing out shit. While people stuck in karmic relationships. Yeah, because the, the death angel here. And got them eradicating their ass. Yeah, somebody's, uh, yeah, somebody, you ain't being promiscuous. <laughs> Knight of Wands energy. The um the Knight of Wands energy and the Queen of Cups energy. Somebody ain't effing a white fever. This fire sign energy, he said, who, who is this fire sign Knight of Wands energy? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that hoe. Yeah, she's very insecure. And she needs to go get, check herself out because she can be sick with her nasty ass, this Sagittarius. Because she's been celebrating. She nasty. That she got that nasty woman's disease. Yeah. Yeah. You hired Divine Feminine. <laughs> yeah. This phase is ending soon. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah. Financial relief is coming your way. Somebody has been investing this King of Swords energy. Somebody has been watching. The Seven of Pentacles has been watching. Hold up. The King of Swords has been watching. In, who is, what, what is this King of Swords? What, what did this King of Swords watch? I think they want me to see. It has been watching this masculine. Something about Eight of Cups. This masculine went to fulfill the void in. This, this King of Swords went to go tell the truth. Who is the Seven of Pentacles energy? This masculine went to go do something. And this King of Swords snitched on his own friend. <laughs> Yeah, because he went to go look to fill the void. What the, what, clarify, fill the void. Yeah, because he went to he went towards somebody. He felt like it was his soulmate. He's apologizing to his wife. Framed in the reverse. You ain't got shit to do with this divine feminine. You you was not the 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 one. It was the side chick. Yeah, the queen of wands energy in the reverse. With the masculine with the big hands. He didn't close the cycle out with that hoe. He never fired her. That's why the wife, yeah, he blocked you for her. The nine of pentacles. Yeah. There's a nine of pentacles here too. There's another female here. Juggled and lucky breakthrough. There's also a nine of pentacles he was dealing, he's dealing here with. He's juggling his wife with a nine of pentacles and a Leo energy. And the King of Swords was just watching his ass. And when he went on a, some type of trip, when he went to go sneak off to be with the side bitch, his friend told or his friend girl told. Yeah. Divine timing is here. This is profit time. This is the perfect time to profit. This situation has gotten out of control. Clarify the Seven of Pentacles energy. What the fuck? Yeah. Somebody was jumping to conclusions and thought that you was going to hell or some shit. Out of control, climbing the ladder, upward trend, revisiting a job, a promotion, co connections. So you got the connections. I told y'all, oh, my portal's not here now. They must, yeah, but they here. They always here. So, anything else over here? All right. What's the, I want to see who's the Seven of Pentacles energy. Oh, yeah. Money blocks. So this is a masculine. This is a friend of the masculine. That um, That is a Seven of Pentacles. So this is a business partner, a friend here that, that don't want this masculine to have any pro, uh, luck or they're jealous of this masculine. And this person's deal with emotions. Yeah, it says fe someone's feelings run really deep, but they are really concealed. This masculine friend don't like him. And his friend wanted to block him from that marriage or from money or whatever the case may be. Yeah, because he didn't want him to be in that contract. He may have wanted to be with that damn uh, wife of his. Yeah, there will not be any abundance that will come from this uh, situation. Something about you being kicked out, that ain't going to happen. You're going to receive a sudden change here. And you could be very guarded right now. I feel like you're not in any commitments, but have caution. Because you have childish ass men with childish ass baby mamas that's coming around. That's trying to project in your energy. But you will never go through a breakthrough with they silly bitch asses. Now come again with that shit. Are we done? Keep going. Are we done with this that? Alright. Y'all know how to check in. They some silly mother suckers. Tricks are for kids. I got one more energy I got to do. I got to go to work. My divine team like, man, get your ass on here and do these daily messages. Hold up. I put these cards together. I did do something new. How y'all liking these messages? This video will be back on YouTube at the Hard Knock Life of Tarot. Yes. Thank you, Mildred. This video will be back on YouTube at the Hard Knock Life of Tarot. YouTube at the Hard Knock Life of Tarot. We're doing two. I got two more decks I got to do to close out y'all. Daily messages for today. Daily messages for today. We're learning how to control our emotions, how to uh, balance out our emotions, how to um, understand our characteristics on what trigger I am our emotions. And I hope whoever you are, if you're having any issues 
with your emotions. If you need someone to talk to, to listen, you need somebody to listen to you. We are your support system. Okay. We are here for you. We will show up for you. We will be here for you. We love you. We care for you. Yep, it's going to help somebody heal, sis. And like I said, I can't make up shit here. It says support. This is what we do. Archangel Michael energy. We're full of love, peace, at ease, no diseases. Your life purpose, your life purpose fully supports you. Support, baby. They supporting you. Your divine team is supporting you. You may need to wear the, wear the colors purple and pink. You can have long brunette hair. They go, my console. You know what console is, right? Snake. Woo! I love my snake friend. I love him. He's the best. The hippo got a snake. I love him. <laughs> I mean, when you have a special connection with your divine team, it's just, oh my God, he has a double head. I love him. I'm, I'm ancient though, so I mean, I love ancient shit. So, I mean, let's get into it. <sighs> Some of you guys could be environmentalists here. Like, you, um, you are meant to tend to the world. You're an earth angel who was born to protect nurture and teach about nature and animals okay it's time to leave this unhealthy situation i did need this i meant oh thank you ashley my prayers are we doing this okay let's um i just want to shuffle again yeah you're meant to be a counselor some of you guys are meant to be counselors okay now let's take it to the next level now that we know what the emotions is, what's causing us to tick, 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 motherfucker. <laughs> I'll blow this bitch up in this motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> right? Now we know how to get you out those emotions. Some of you guys may have anger problems. Now that we know what the problem is, <laughs> right? Now we want to teach people how to be balanced as well, too. You see a little fairy? Look at the orange. Might be your favorite color. Okay. The color orange and brown is very significant um, this month. Mother Earth energy. Mother Earth is with us. Okay. And a lot more pantheons, but I'm not going to get into all that. Um, yeah, but what I'm saying is when you know how to heal yourself, then what do we do? We heal our community. You heal those that need it the most because that would be so goddamn a, a disservice to you and to other people, if you're the only one healed around here, November cover colors. Yep, that is right, Ashley. Okay. Yep. That's Scorpio energy. Yep. Um, but like I was saying, we we have to take our learning experience. I feel like that'll make the world a better place. Because once you find out, okay, let me just take it all the way back. The whole purpose of creative illuminations is to tell the truth, right? Before I can even break into all of this, what is our religion, right? Truth, love, that's our religion. What do we represent? Spirituality, we represent coaching, we represent healing on all aspects of the human genome body. Chem chemistry level, right? We, we represent all that shit from your mind, heart, your heart mind, your, your third eye mind, your stomach mind, right? We fix, cleanse, we do all that. We we re, we re, rejuvenate your soul, your spirit. We What I want to say, you know when your car go out, when, it's, when the engine go out, we got them get that with that spark plug and we got them rev that bitch up. This is what we do, right? To, so you can get, yeah, 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 yeah. So you can get that motherfucking goddamn light again so you can get them get the gas. See, some people need a little help with gasoline. Thank you, Mildred. You know, you know, we'll just give you a little push, right? Because you already got the light in you, but it may just be dimmed a little bit. It ain't gone. It's just dimmed a little bit because of all the burdens and the restrictions and the restraints that was put onto your life. You couldn't see things clearly. But once you break free from these environmental factors, from things that's holding you back, when you let go of fear, 
Damn, Devon, they on point today. They on fucking point. That's when you can step into your true power and be like, me, peace. <laughs> we done with that one. With the next one. <laughs> and it says, let go of fear now, Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of our guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic, or ego-based thoughts or feelings. You guys are asking for help. This is what you need to ask for. Ask for help. Ask for help with your ego, right? Ask for help on how can I put my, my pride to the side? How can I put my ego to the side? How can I put my arrogance to the side? How can I put, you know, my, 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 my my stereo stereotypical views of the world to the side and just let the divine work through me. Let me let me move out the way and let the divine show up for me. Let the divine work for me. Let the divine order my steps because evidently our way ain't the way. And that's why we lean on divine knowledge. That's why we, we rely on the 12 laws of the, of the universe. That's why we rely on uh, the, the, the seven principles of the Kabbalion. This is why we learn esoteric. This is why we honor our bodies and our temple. This is why we listen to our intuition to guide us, to show us to so we can follow. Because, baby, we babies down here. We don't know. If we knew, we wouldn't be down here. If you think you know every motherfucking thing, your ass wouldn't be down here. You meant to learn a lesson, or you meant to teach, or you meant to teach a lesson. There's always lessons and teachers and teachers and lessons. Pupil is the student, and the student is the pupil. Each one teach one, grow one, build one to become great leaders. Cause we are all leaders in our tribe. Everybody wanna be the chief, but and, but, and don't nobody wanna be the Indian. The fuck out of here. No, everybody can't be the chief. And that's just the way the fuck it is. That's the matriarch setup. And the matriarch setup is how it's set up in heaven. In, in, in the universe. And I'm not going to go there. If you know, you know. Where you think the government and the churches get their fucking setup from? It's, they showed up, didn't do it. The universe did. All right, let me go. Let go. Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Always pray, always ask for guidance, clear um, answers, um, synchronistics. Um, one thing I do say is, universe, I am open and ready for you to start conspiring in my favor to make my dreams come true. I request for a clear sign in my reality to come to me today. I am open. I am ready. Thank you. That's one of the prayers I say, and I hope one of you, I hope you guys be able to say it too, and I hope prosperity come to you as well. Thank you for clear, clearing my heavy and toxic or ego-based thoughts. So I feel like that you could be somebody who be who fight with negative thoughts back and forth and I feel like every time that there's a, a negative thought uh, or a negative emotion or a negative um insinuation that's coming towards you Archangel Michael is here to clear that shit up and if anybody is sending anything your way Archangel Michael is removing it if there's any projection it's being removed and that's what that card was saying earlier that's why these fools cannot send projection upon you because Archangel Michael is goddamn reversing that shit you dumb sucker now they now they're going through the projection magic that they sent to you. Now they're going through it because Archangel Michael came in here and he stopped that shit. You stupid fool, you, your bodyguard. Okay. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, these people are ego based. They wanted you to be heavy, way down. They wanted you to be in toxic situations. How you eat, how you think, how you perceive, how you talk to people, how you co how you coagulate together. Yeah, and that shit backfired. Let me. I got one more deck and I got to get out of here, y'all. Yeah, you have creative expression. Let me move this to the side. Yeah, there's an empress and a hierophant. In the, there's a, I just seen um, a hierophant and an empress supposed to come together. There's going to be an emperor, a contract that's going to be between a, 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 a empress and a hierophant energy, okay? So that's a um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and a Virgo, two Virgo energies. Shit, that's going to be a powerful relationship. Or this is going to be a powerful union. I don't know. This shit going to be powerful than a motherfucker. Two, two, two empresses, two gods. That's, you know, the empress is a god energy. The hierophant is a god energy. Two gods. And then there's a third person here, an emperor. Now this emperor may, oh, that means, oh, Emperor. 
Anunnaki. You guys were appointed by Daddy Saturn. I'm just going to Saturn, Saturn, Satan, Saturn appointed you guys to do this leadership. Yeah, I'm going to teach you something today. Y'all already fucking know how I get down over here. Y'all know the goddamn Divine Mother and Divine Father, goddamn uh, the, the original twin fame, Divine God and, and the devil, okay? I'm not finna go into detail. If you know, you know. You was appointed. They gave you, so Daddy, the Daddy, Daddy Satin, because he don't like Satan. Daddy Satin likes, he, 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 met, he, he, he brought together, you guys. This is going through birth. I'm not finna get into that shit. Nope, nope, nope. I'm not getting into it. Cause that's that that is a, a spiritual contract. And that's a spiritual contract. And I don't, I ain't dealing with that. That's that somebody trying to come in between the spiritual contract. I ain't got shit to do with that. You understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner, inner guidance as the animals are a part of your life work. Some of you guys are meant to work with animals, veterinarians here. Hey, free. Yeah. Wildcat. I've been picking up the Leo energy. Okay, and some of you guys could be a part of the Egyptian Pantheon is what I'm also picking up with the Leo. Some of you guys could be a part of the tribe of Judah. Okay, wild cat. Somebody could have a wild cat. Okay, 44. It says, be still and tune in for there is something aloof, afoot, lurking alongside of you. Two bees. I want to click. Are we clarifying? Let's see. Be still and tune in. Be still and tune in. Something about going within and meditating. Something is lurking on the side of you. I want to clarify that. Hold on. Go. What's lurking on the side of you? What's lurking on the side of you? Go with them because something is lurking on the side of you. A fire sign energy, that B&I energy with her crazy fucking ass. Damn, she get on my fucking nerves. Go home, Roger. Fuck. <laughs> sister, sister. Twin sisters is what I just heard. <sighs> Bitch, go home. The fuck is wrong with you? With your crazy ass. I told you you can't get them. Your communication been blocked. You can't send shit our way. Crazy. Over here watching us to see if we done got them cut up. To see if they can block our channel. Bro, go ahead with your crazy ass. With your crazy ass. Go on home. Yeah. Ocean don't fuck with you. We don't fuck with you. You are not black and yellow. We the black and yellow. That crazy ass girl. That girl crazy. Yeah, we over here fertilizing with the old school. Ocean and them like, stop calling on me. Ho, stop calling on me. We don't deal with you, ho. Over there with that wild cat over there. Yeah. That pussy. <laughs> I got that from all fucking goddamn my girl. Goddamn uh, the nun on YouTube. <laughs> that motherfucker goddamn me. Ran and ragged. <laughs> hey, right, somebody calling on the ancestors here. And they say, man, I don't fuck with you. And I don't fuck with you. <laughs> yeah. This hoe was over here chanting on you, the healer, trying to fuck with your dreams. Your ancestor told her ass to let go, your twin sister. She want to be with that masculine of yours. <laughs> yeah. She was successful with keeping this masculine confused about you. That's why he blocked communication. How he feel now? Heartbroken. Regretful. But this is just justice. Because some sneaky shit got found out here. He found out that hoe got them a hoe. Your girl got a girlfriend is what I just hold. What he find out? That she get. And I get and I'll take your money. Because she a prostitute. Yeah, she was dealing with somebody from my past. Working with somebody from my past. And this is a secret. And that's why he blocked her ass too. He got backstabbed once again. Or well, about to. And now he's ready to end out this situation. That's why it's quiet. Yeah, this night of wands. He went rushing to her. 
She been watching you. Yeah. And they was talking about some shit. And he said, well, I ain't got them fucking with her. Yeah. And this Queen of Swords energy was like, well, I ain't fucking with this. Some shit. Hold up. Hold on. Let me see this energy. Hold up. The Queen of Swords energy was like, well, fuck you too. And I ain't fucking with her either. Yeah. Something was done unapologetically. Somebody was watching this fire sign. Okay. So the wife got them ended it out with the fucking fire sign. Oh. So the wife found out. Through the King of Swords energy. Remember, I said the King of Swords energy was, was watching this Knight of Wands. He went back and he was, yeah, he was saying how unapologetically, unapologetically he was when he was cheating on his wife and his wife motherfucking blunt. So the same masculine that's dealing with this goddamn hussy, Leo energy, it's the damn, it's some oddy, uh, old uh, grandma here. He cheated on his wife with, uh, with this hussy and a Queen of Pentacles energy. I don't even think she know about that. Do she know about the Queen of Pentacles energy? I'm going to bust their ass open. Yeah. Source illuminate everything. Yeah. Investment in the reverse. Somebody going broke. Who is the Seven of Pentacles energy? Yeah, the Queen of Wands energy. So it, was, it wasn't nobody. It was the yeah, Queen of Wands energy. Leo energy going broke than a motherfucker. That's why her car don't work. Yeah. She over here fucking on this married man. Yeah, and this was a secret. Now this, now this secret out about this Burton's love affair. This King of Swords told, cause he felt like the woman he that the masculine was with is his nine of cups. Yeah, and want to come and give you the, and want to come and give her this offer. Yeah, the opportunity is not here though. Damn, did this masculine want to be with his wife? No, there's something coming in towards you, Divine Feminine. You could be in this nine of cups energy, and you're about to receive some type of opportunity. Actually, Divine Feminine. You're about to receive some type of opportunity in the masculine, a friend, Virgo energy. This Empress energy, whoever this Empress energy thought she was going to be a part of this business and it backfired. Whoever this wife is, what did a wife do? The wife also tried to sacrifice this masculine. She, she only wanted to hold him down. Yeah, she could have, yeah, something about giving page of cups and this masculine walked away because of a child or she was given to someone all this shit toxic as hell it's like going from one situation to another divine feminine i feel like you've been doing alchemy work you see how you you over here flipping this shit up in a motherfucking air like bitch i feel like you you are this child and you have older ancestors here and they showing you how to goddamn mix herbs and shit together i just seen fucking lightning it's time to go all right I feel like, yeah, you you over here got down, yeah, you got the bees around you. Yeah, you can, maybe you can, you got some type of, you can control air, you're an airbender, okay? It says food is not the only thing that nourish you, nourishes you. Sorry. Food is not the only thing that nourishes you, dear one. Be mind of what you feed your soul. Didn't I say that earlier? There you go. These are your messages for today, guys. And like I said, this card want to stick back out. There's some type of offer coming your way and opportunity. You deserve this shit. So congratulations. I'll be done. We got one more card, one more deck to read. They, I forgot I got one more deck. They wanted me to do a, I guess this was a special presentation. I didn't know I was going to be on here this long. So let me um get one more deck. I'm sorry, guys. But they're telling me I can't go yet. So I have to stay on. Yeah, because I told you, enlightenment, there's going to be opportunity coming your motherfucking way. I knew it. Ugh. Oh, God, that was so nasty and that tasted so bad. Yeah, your ancestors love you. <laughs> and you are not to reconsider a situation. They are to be stuck in the past, okay? Something with love, I don't know, okay? Oh, that tasted so nasty. I gotta go. That was confirmation, though. Yeah, never give up. You could be a motivational speaker here. These phases are coming soon. 24. You could be 24 years old. Yeah, you got you are the lucky one. If you've been seeing coins, there's a new cycle for you. Okay, I just seen mirror work. Somebody was projecting onto you. Somebody was doing mirror work here. I feel like you're very uh resilient here. You're very succulent here. You're very bountiful here, very beautiful, very um serene here. But I feel like somebody who has an open wound here or who has um use body parts here was trying to make obstacles for you in this in a reverse yeah you don't journey around and give your body to everybody but somebody who does you see how this lotus flower is opening this is somebody who opens up to the world to the community they don't care okay they 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 
except a lot of souls in their body. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody do the, uh, give out love to get money. Yeah. And they're about to be dethroned. Yeah. Somebody who used that water, surrender. They should have surrendered and they didn't. Yeah. Within the next few weeks, their, their, their crop is going to be um, drying up. The pedophile has children. Oh, I got to read that energy. Yeah. Never give up. And we're talking about people from your past. No need to worry. That person was not for you. You're meant to be an inspirational cause. If you believe in your magic, you bring in hope. Be careful of what you listen to. Your ancestors are removing all distractions from this karmic water sign energy. You're going to, you are, you are reassured a transformation. I do have to clarify. I've been waiting on this. I'm not done yet. I'm sorry, guys. I got more to do. Somebody who was practicing witchcraft is a pedophile. That's what the card came out to be. Yeah. They was messing with little girls and putting love spells on them. This cycle is complete. Somebody been watching children. Let me get these cards up. I got to do my treasure, treasure box reading too. Give me one second, guys. Damn, I thought I was done. This is this is like a um cutting a red tape. <laughs> I did not know I was gonna, I was not planning on being on here this long, but they told me I can't go, so I can't go. I have to get these messages out and thing else. Okay. I gotta do the pedophile. We're doing that one. The next one. Alright, we're not gonna do the pedophile one, but we're gonna do the um I'm not gonna do the pedophile one, but we're gonna do because that's doing too much. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna leave that one out probably for tomorrow. I'm going to do the pedophile one tomorrow. I'm going to get it. We're going to get everybody. We're going to get everybody. I'm telling you, we're going to get everybody, man. I want, I want, I want all y'all. I want all y'all. We want all y'all. Not I, mama. It ain't me as mama. It ain't me as mama. I'm just, I'm, I'm just a motherfucking tool to drag their ass to hell. That's all I do. I just want to, come on. Come on. I'm the motherfucking ghost rider in this bitch. I have no emotions. I got emotions for who got emotions for me. Put it like that. You fuck with me, I fuck with you. You don't fuck with me, I don't give two shits about you. And I keep it so motherfucking real. Yeah, I I I, I protect children and old folks and fools. Because fools don't know any better. Until, they, until, I, until I find out that they trying to trauma bond, then I cut their ass off. But I, that's when you give people clemency, right? The... You give them a chance. It take. I promise you got one time with me. I ain't got no two or no three. You got one. That's it. Because things is winding up. I ain't got time to be holding nobody's fucking hand. I can give you the water and let you drink it and give you the guidance, but it's your duty to follow the action. I can't make can't give you the advice and drink it for you and do the action, motherfuckers. You crazy. Then what have you learned? You lazy mother sucker. What have you learned? And that's the decision that we have to make in the morning. That was one of the first um, readings that I did was in order to, to, to shape your day, in order to shape your day, an elementary school teacher, okay, in order to, sh to shape your day, you have to make the decision if you're going to be in good intentions or bad intentions. It's all here. You can wake up and be like, I want to be the be the most brilliant person today. Or you can wake up and be like, Oh, I can't stand that motherfucker. Or, oh, man, I don't want to go to this job today, man. Here they go. They're going to be on that bullshit again, right? That's how you feed into it. It's all about feeding into that that uh, that wolf, feeding into that intention, feeding into that emotion, feeding into that innate energy. Because emotions is energy, too. And that's just something else I just picked up on. Positivity is key. Exactly. I wake up every morning. I do my affirmations. I wake up in the morning and I do y'all guys daily messages. I wake up in the morning and I create with God. I wake up in the morning and I don't think negative. And if there is a negative thought and I ask God, please, 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 can you change my reality? Can you show me what I can do? To no. I say, what can I do to change my reality? Let me, boop. I do this. Boop, boop, boop. You know that Kevin, that Kevin Hart shit? I'm going to tell you, I have to trick myself out of negativity, right? I'd be like, I'm like, man, this motherfucker make me sick. Ah, roll rage. I'd be like, doop, doop. Okay. You know what? I'm not going to let this shit happen to me. Let me, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh. And I laugh at it. You ain't get me today. 
Oh, okay. Oh, that's what you were trying to do. You trying to give me out my? You trying to give me out my energy? You trying to give me the plank? You trying to give me the fault? You trying to give me to come out my character? You know what? That's not my energy because I know I'm a happy. I'm a go lucky, and I love people. So why am I angry? Why am I waking up with an attitude when I know I'm a loving and bubbly person? How the fuck can I be full of? And I don't care what kind of job it is because whatever job I do, I'm going to be happy at what I do because you got to find peace in whatever that you do, right? I could work a goddamn housekeeping job and I'm going to be goddamn happy as fuck going to work because I'm happy with myself, not because of that job and nobody else, but because of me. So at the end of the day, you control your happiness. You control your environment. You control your emotions. At the end of the day, this is the nine-step program. Let's get to it. We're going to get things breaking down to y'all day by day. First, we're going to take initiation. I mean, accountability. We got to take accountability. Then we work on our emotions, right? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's do the treasure box reading. I know something that's why I'm here peaches that they help their butts out but see the thing is if they won't help then the, the thing that they have to do is step up to the plate I can't I can't I can't I don't know if you don't know if you don't need any help you got people out here I'm, I'm talking to the people who actually want change but don't know how to go about it right uh, the people who need who who like man I don't because I used to be like that I'm like man I don't know what to do man I don't know man my life is fucked up man I don't know how to get my shit together I done did this shit that shit am I even am I even uh, deemable in life am I even valuable in life I don't even think I deserve to be here in life some people like some people I had it worse than some people I ain't have nobody I was in isolation I could have killed myself dead myself <clears throat> one to the head I would have been up there with the most high but God made me strong. There's no weak unless you unless you choose to be weak. You choose to be weak. You choose not to fight. And my and my friend, you choose to trauma bond. That means you choose and you know what you're doing. And that's why the mask will fall off. You feel me? Let's get let's continue. We all have the ability to be strong and to push through and to have resilience. But you have people who have got too comfortable with life and they feel like that everybody owed them something because woe is me. I went through this bitch. I ain't have shit. I slept in dark nights, dark rooms since I was the age of three, four years old up until now. Well, not up until now, but since I was at the age of four up until I was 14 years old being trapped and locked in a dark ass house. I come from hell. How you going to tell me? I, and I could have easily stayed in prostitution. I could have easily stayed in human trafficking. I could have easily stayed in the drug business. I could have easily stayed in the motherfucking streets. Easily. It's hard to goddamn get freedom, man. It's easy to goddamn follow behind evilness and darkness and shit. What? It takes a strong act, but you can do it though. But that's the test. Can you pass the test? Can you gain your wings, Earth Angel? Some are taught to, to, some are came down here to teach. Some came down here to live the experience. Some come to teach the experience. Some, some have come to teach, but have been thrown into the fucking abyss on hell, on earth. Cause the earth is hell. Okay. Some teachers have been sodomized and abused in the process when they shouldn't have been in a situation like that from the get go. Okay. Karmics teach lesson. Angels teach lesson. Life purposes teach lesson. We teach each other. Whether you're a human, an archangel, a deity, or whatever the case may be. Because y'all know we, we fucking mixed out here. So whatever. Alright? Somebody could smoke that ganja. I'm saying. Vegas. Somebody could be going to Vegas. Alright? Something about... um. Some earrings. I'm picking up um, onyx or diamond. So diamond is Aries. The three pendants. Pandora's box, three pendants. The diamonds. Oh, you're going to Vegas. You're going to Vegas. 
I see Mota, Vegas, and the Diamonds. Something about black and white. Yeah, I, I've been saying that. Yeah, you are balanced here. You could be a feminine energy. I picked up that. This is treasure box reading. You could like to wear perfume or cologne. Your chakras could be in alignment. Okay, I did pick it up the right way. Okay, yeah, you play chess games here. I mean, chess, this is chess, not checkers. Yeah, the king and queen of chess or some shit like that I'm picking up. Hold up, this is like the pawns and the knights. The pawns and the knights. I don't know. Something about the pawns and the knights. Yeah. Peace fills your heart. And I feel like your heart is protected. You got back. You see, remember what the look, look what came with it, y'all, with the card. They wanted to interrupt your peace. They wanted to damage your heart so you don't be at peace. They was they was wanting to kill your emotions, your love. They wanted to kill your light. Your light is in your heart. Oh, this makes so fucking sense now. The evil, I'm looking at the evil eye. All evil, yeah. The evil eye has been reversed, but the evil eye is protecting you. Wow, that was deep. I got to get some more of these. Hey, y'all, man, help me out. Let's get some more trinkets. Y'all going to buy me some trinkets and sell them to me. Hey, I need y'all help. Hey, come on, man. Shit, fuck that. Close mouths don't get fed. Hey, I need y'all help. Hey, if y'all like this trinket, read. Let me know. This is what I got so far, but I want to get a bigger one. I think these messages is fucking on point. So if you guys want to buy tarot cards, if you guys want me to want want you to you want to send your tarot cards, if you guys want to help me buy little trinkets and we make a bigger treasure box pool, let's do it. Are we done? All right. So are we doing this? Okay. They want me to do one more. So like I said, your chakras is in alignment here. Um, I feel like that you are a good friend. You could be a vegetarian or you could be a vegan. You can like the Mota, okay? You could be going to Vegas soon. Our evil eye has been reversed here. Somebody could be from the Indian uh, Indian religion here. The evil eye works for you though. Somebody, they tried to um, hurt your heart by stabbing it. Um, by trying to, I guess, cause some type of uneasiness and love for you. It didn't work. I feel like that you won. I got to do cog messages and I'm going to end it. Okay, guys, give me, I got to do one more. They're not letting me go. I think I'm being tested right now. I know I'm being tested. That's why I'm on this long. I don't normally be on here this long. So I have to follow my, my, my ancestors guidelines. Okay. I know I'm being tested, so and I know I know what's going on. Let me just follow notion and I'm always going through tests. Everybody goes through tests. We're never, it's never over with. Because this is how the divine keep us. Um, these are lessons, like you go to school. Thank you, Peaches. This is like lessons how when we go to school, y'all. This ain't no different. You get tested for the knowledge, the wisdom. Have you learned your lesson? Okay. And I think that's what I'm gonna name this one. Have you learned your lesson? Divine, have you learned your lesson yet? Have you learned your lesson? Have you passed the test? You sleeping good? You healing in your sleep? I feel like you have. Okay. So we're going to get a couple more messages. As you can see. Let's get a couple more. We're going to get up out of here and get our um, work schedule started for today. That. Mm -mm, yeah. I don't know. Let me shuffle up some more. I'm learning my lessons. Thanks, man. I know that's right. Expressive. Hell yeah. Have you learned your lesson yet, man? That's the name of this reading. Reading. Have you learned your lesson yet? Yeah, we're gonna get this. All right, they want me to do these. Any more? That's not. We're doing all okay. They want me to do all of these. Whew. Hold on, y'all. Give me one second. I gotta use the bathroom, okay? And we're gonna do these messages. They want me to do all of these, okay? And we're gonna end it out with cock messages, okay, guys? Just please give me one second.
Thank you guys for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. You guys are the best. Yeah. Something about ripping weaves and braids out this year. Somebody weave could be getting ripped out right now. Somebody who have weaves and braids. Their, their hair is getting ripped out right now. Or will be or has been. <laughs> That's what it says. Look. Look what it says. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. <laughs> we better go ham. Let me go. I'm coming right back. <laughs> hold on, hold on, y'all. Mmm. Damn what I do with it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hold on, y'all. Damn. I do with it. I'm coming, y'all. Give me one second. Yeah, somebody have to, somebody gonna have to go get a lawyer. Y'all know what the fuck I'm looking for. You know what the fuck I'm looking for. I need it now. <laughs> that was a lot of reading. <laughs> oh, there we go. <sighs> Give me one second. Give me one second. I'll be right back. <laughs> to get my hair right real quick shit i had to get my hair right real quick y'all my hair goddamn about to feel like it's about to explode but i'll be doing all these damn met the all these dang messages be having my head exploding some feel like it's about to explode sometimes i have to take a little break you know calm the mind down yeah groove theory energy tell me somebody may want to tell you something here yeah go to the lawyer go tell it to the lawyer is what i heard yeah Creative Illuminations. You could be a poet. There's two men lovers. The tale of two. Tw These messages came out last time. Oh my God. So we still in this energy. Y'all see me mix that shit up, man. Y'all remember hearing these, this is the same fucking messages. All the motherfucking messages I got and these motherfuckers still in your energy. They go, my God dang, I wish they get the hell on. Let's see, but anyway. <laughs> I thought I was getting something new. These motherfuckers still here. I got to read it just like this. It's the same damn man. They, these motherfuckers ain't nothing changed. These motherfuckers stealing your energy. Ain't nothing new. These same fools. But let's go. But now the difference is I didn't pull this out last time. Go get a lawyer. Somebody, a fire sign going to have to go get a lawyer. Because don't nobody want to hear shit from this motherfucker. It says, tell, go tell your fucking lawyer. Somebody want, might want to tell you something about a lawyer. Groove theory. Go get a lawyer. Tell me. So you need to go get a lawyer, Divine Feminine? Oh, they finna snitch. Hold up. I'm, I'm just getting started, um, Peaches. I'm just getting started on the cog messages. Oh, I gotta calm down. Calm down. This is what I'm testy. Two men lovers. Two men lovers on this card could be two females or two, um... Two women, it is it, gonna be different for each and one of you situations. But my ancestors been letting me know that this is two women energies that are in two masculine energies. So that is my same sex energy card, okay? 
when it comes to two dominant feminines. You go, we, divine feminine, you're going to have to get a lawyer on these two um, butch females. There could be um, females of the same sex here who are in masculine energy. Um, they did something deceptive in your energy. Yeah. And you're going to have to go get a lawyer to take their ass to court. Yeah, they did something with your business under Venmo. If your business was connected to Venmo, the name of my business is Creative Illuminations. But if they did something to your business and they did something under Venmo, or they use some type of platform here, or they use some type of spending bank um, entity, some type of deposit, um, savings account, checkings account, okay? Somebody was using your, your, your business name and getting money or getting some type of finance off of it. Some type of evidence or information or lawyer is coming to you or you need to get a lawyer, period. Yeah, you could be the poet here. Oh, this is getting deep. Okay. You could be a writer, a singer, but I'm picking up a poet. You love poetry or you write poetry. The tale, the tall tale, the evil twin. What does it say? The tale of both sides. The tale of both sides. Privilege. Okay, I see it. The tale of both sides of the fence. The tall tale of both. I'm sorry. I'm trying to figure out how I write this. How I wrote this because it's kind of. The tall tale of both sides of the fences. The evil twin versus the privilege. The hard knock. Okay. So we're talking about. I told you your twin sister. Now this could be a twin that you have, or this is a twin that has been with you through life, through different life journeys, because y'all know I do past life. So one twin was of privilege, and one twin was of a hard knock life. The tall tale of both sides of the fence. The evil twin, the hard knock twin. The evil twin is the privileged twin. Okay, and this is what we're talking about. So we're talking about your evil twin sister and two masculine females. Okay, that makes sense. Before I continue, does that make sense? Because all of these people have something to do with your business being uh, people stealing from your business, taking from your business, cloning your business is what I just heard. All right, let's continue. Yeah, the Anunnaki tribe is here. Didn't I tell you we're connected to these, to these, to the star people, to the heavens people from earlier yesterday? The Anunnaki tribe is here. Oh my God, my energy. God, give me the energy to get this. This is a lot. Being tested, so I know I got to get through. Wusa, they saying remember to meditate every day, like we have talked about. We are part of that war babies. Yeah, somebody with the last name Delaney. They are the devil. And I'm picking up as a uh, negative energy. Okay. Okay. This could be family members or the person with the initials D. That could be first, middle, or last initial. They are the fucking devil. They can have Earth sign and Scorpio in their birth chart. But we are from, we are a milit militant soldier. This is giving me, um... What's that Cash Money song with Baby and Lil Wayne? Because I'm the J-I-R-A. Yeah, I'm the bird man and I'm the J-I-R-A. Fire man, f -f fire man. Yeah, you could be a fire sign, but you're full of love. Yeah. And I'm going to put you out. Something like that, Lil Wayne energy. You could be a Virgo. Okay. My phone just peeped. Your karmics tried to trap you with babies. Some of you guys are militant-minded, war-minded, been in war, fought in wars, or like wars, or ROTC, or you like military shit, okay? It's a divine masculine. Divine masculine, I know I let other people come in between us. I was scared. I didn't want you to feel that way, that hurt again. I, I didn't want... I didn't want to feel that hurt again. There's a divine masculine who has been emotionally abused here. And 
the reason why he let people come in between you guys is because he made some bad decisions in his life, bad lovers, bad choices, but that's because he was abused as a child himself. That secret hasn't came out yet. This masculine may have been emotionally abused, physically abused, sexually abused, um, whatever the case it may be, but this divine masculine has been abused as well too. Um, this person that I let you get too close to him is the reason being is because of trauma. And he didn't want to feel again. I told you he was in a abusive house home. Now you see it. Okay. Or somebody could be in a, a in a abusive house home right now. Yeah. You see the big picture now. You see, yeah, you're very gifted. Yeah, little Wayne. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> yeah, Erica Badu, don't. Yeah, and your ancestors are saying like shit, it wasn't broke. Why you try to fix it or something like that? Yeah, you could be in this very cere uh, cerebral energy. Um, Erica Badu, you could be a midwife here. Um, that's giving me, you know, uh, Erica represents uh, the Scorpio energy as well when it comes to um, bringing in life and welcoming in babies. Um, you know, also assisting with the dead, make sure that they transition over uh, correctly. All right. So some of you guys are meant to be, some of you guys could be morticians. Okay. Or you, or you may have a thing, you know, for talking to your ancestors or to the unalived. Okay. I think that they're alive. I never call them unalived because spirits are alive anyway. But I feel like, like, did you know masculine that I was the one I tried to tell you? And I feel like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So why try to fix something if it works perfectly? So don't fix it. Don't correct it. Let it be what it is because you're gifted. If they don't like it, then fuck it. Don't fix shit. And yeah, didn't you know I told you? Didn't you know I'm tapped in? I tried to tell you. Now you see the bigger picture now. Now you see. Yeah, we. it ain't like I told you so, but it's like, man, I tried to tell you though, but you you kept picking these people over me, these, these things over me, these funny little <laughs> things over me. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> somebody is about to cash out, but look out for lurkers. They are on the prowl. You are, yeah, you are breaking generational curses. God hid you because you have a double mission. Somebody with a fade cut, bald head, dreads, braids, cornrows, chest hair, mustache, sideburns, goatee, beard. Yeah. Somebody is about to die, morgue. I see death around the corner. I admire you, but I don't like you. Is how somebody feel right now. Yeah, Scorpio. Yeah, because you're going through a rebirth. Scorpion energy. I told you, Erica Badu. Damn, they, they lined up my messages. Yeah, your friends. They admire you, but they don't like you because they're jealous and envious of you. You can't feed one wolf over the other. They have to be, they have to bring equilibrium. I just said all this shit. I love my team. Oh my God, they the fucking best. I just mentioned all this shit, y'all. 10, breaking down the 10. My team the motherfucking best. Red pill, blue pill, you choose. Two of Pentacles, Jupiter and Capricorn. A sign of infinity, forever balancing the acts of our decisions. You have flexibility and change. They, the play of life. You have the play of life. You have the game book. This is why the game pieces came out. Because you, you have the pieces to the game. And can't nobody change it. Because you make the pieces to the game. Yeah, because you are recreation. Travel, flexibility, change, adaptability. Oh, these some dope messages. I got to this shit. Good. Yeah. Some, there was a fire sign that did something to you intentional. And you say, I wash my hands from that bullshit. Mm -hmm. Somebody with the initials P. You let my, you, you set my soul on fire. Somebody say that you set their soul on fire or you set somebody else's soul on. You either they set your soul on fire or you set their soul on fire. Whatever the case may be. This person say they will never hurt you again with the initials P. You set this person's soul on fire. Patrick. <clears throat> oh, I guess that was motherfucking confirmation. You have seen the light. Damn, divine orange. And y'all see how y'all coming out in this orange color. Didn't I tell y'all orange is significant for you guys? Okay. 
You guys are really fucking doing the, the bomb shit here, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. My husband's name is Patrick. Damn, lady. I'm in rare form, and I'm going to stay rare for the rest of my days. Nas, the poet. This is, too, this is so many confirmation, guys. This is so many. Um, If I rule the world. I was, I was listening to Lauren Hill before I got on here. Yeah, and then Lauren Hill in... Lauren Hill is the poet. No, Lauren Hill, the educator, the poet is what I'm picking up. If I rule the world, I free all my sons. I never leave them, baby. Yeah. Black diamonds and pearls. Could it be if I had my, uh, 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 I rule the world. Yeah. So you meant to rule? You meant to be a ruler? Child, the ruler, divine feminine, put the woman on top. There's going to be a woman ruler. Yeah, anyway, let's go. STD. This woman named Kimberly got an STD. Yeah, she was part of the sister wives clubs we've been talking about. Let me stop for a moment. Y'all catching on to these messages? Y'all see how the storybook is being played out? <laughs> oh, that's what's up, lady. Y'all see how to, y'all see how to, look, 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 look. y'all see how to sign? <laughs> They whole goddamn shit coming out. <laughs> Everything. I was, this is a book, y'all. What's this? Uh, what's that? Huh? This is a rich man town. Right? <laughs> this a 50. Sign your girl, 50. 50. I got an episode for you, 50. We're going to do an Oracle Tarot style. 50. 50. I know you see me, 50. Let me stop. <laughs> Sign your girl, 50. We can, man, we can make some shit out this tarot shit 50 in these episodes, baby. Just put me behind the scenes. We're going to make these scenes. <laughs> you know, anybody know 50? <laughs> yeah, me, myself, and I, that's all I have at the end. <laughs> I'm trying to get them get one of them episodes, god dang. Man, it's going to be better than ghosting them shit. I'm telling you, you know, this is from the ancestors. Just think about it. I get up with 50 and we be in there doing a the motherfucking card reads and we get everybody motherfucking juice and we put it on TV. <laughs> I'm taking you with me, creative. Thank you, lady. <laughs> that should be so fucking dope. Motherfuckers be watching TV like, how, 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 how did that happen? <laughs> what, what, what? That situation look same, same, same too familiar, man. We need to. I'm telling you, this would be a fucking great one, man. Hey, where my producers at, man? Fuck that. Give me all the producers, man. Nah, I ain't gonna say all, but y'all know what I'm saying, though. That's that's a good concept, though. I like that concept. Turning tarot into like a a a a, a, a show. Uh, what you call it? A reality show or a, a movie or some shit or an episode show. What the fuck ever. All right. <laughs>